Good evening, everyone. My name's Heath Haskins, Code Primate, and this is not Lumber Tycoon 2. Um, what we have here is a replica. It is an exact copy, and it has been stolen. <laughs> um, now, with that being said, I am going to actually run around in this thing, and I'm going to show you why this is not okay. I'm gonna purchase this real quick. Okay, so this right here. Oh, uh, I guess I should probably carry that back, shouldn't I? Mm, I guess it won't really matter because I'm not staying here. So, um, anyhow, this right here is. It looks like lumber, acts like lumber. It's because it is lumber's code. It is. It is lumber's. It is stolen. It's. Uh, there's no good way of saying this. Oh gosh. And I can walk in the water too. Wow. Just wow. Sometimes I just, I wonder why this is so prevalent. And it's, it's not the first one that's been like this. And uh, I understand a lot of people, they send me um, like Lumber Tycoon 3 and modded lumber and lumber mod and all these other things. What makes me mad, what makes me upset about this is this is all Defaultio's work. There's no originality here. You can take his game, change it around however you want. It is not original. It is not yours. You did not make this. And I think that's, that's the most upsetting thing to me is because Everything that you you put out here is stolen. It's at least with stuff like Mad City and um, Jailbreak, Redwood Ty uh, Redwood Prison Tycoon stuff like that. At least like you made an effort to kind of hide it or to kind of make it different. This is, there's, there's no words. This makes me mad. So, um, so what am I doing inside this game? Oh, well, it, it got sent to me and to the person that sent it to me, no offense. Yes, me and mommy would love to have updates and things that we could go and play inside lumber like this, but this right here, it does make me upset. Um, thank you for sending it to me. I am going to report it as a stolen game. I don't know if Roblox is going to care or do anything about it. Um, I hope Josh will see this. Um, Defaultio. He has dealt with this multiple times. And one of the things that had happened was his game got passed out with uncopy, uncopy lock on or the, the copy lock was turned off and it basically blew up like wildfire. Why? Because it's a really popular game. It's really well made and people basically stole it. It's stolen. It, this is a stolen game. Ugh, why am I? I'm sorry and I do apologize, but <laughs> a lot of you are going to be saying, well, Code, you're a hip Great. or code isn't this contradictory to what my lumber is absolutely and that's actually what this video is going to be about it's uh, actually my lumber and I'm not gonna be able to save this because oh my gosh that was a good jump by the way I, I mean 10 out of 10 driving skills right there but this, this is an exact replica it's not modded it's, it's not original this is <clears throat> so upsetting so what do we what do we do about it? Well, first off, I'm gonna get out of this game. I'm not gonna support that. I'm not going to play it. I can't. In the bones of me, I just it's not right. It's not default is, and I feel bad for him. So, um, what are we going to do? Well, here's here's the catch. I have been working on my own version of lumber, 
which is my original content. It is written like I've built all of this. The scripts are original. I've taken the concept, the idea of what Defaultio has done and placed it into my own scripts from scratch. There's, there's no copying this. Um, and I will be honest. There have been people who have sent me the original scripts. I had at one time the original game and I never looked at it. Why? Because I felt, I felt bad even having it, even having a copy of the game. So, um, this right here is my lumber and it is original. It's like, ah, but the, there's some things that are all kinds of messed up. Like if you try and hold the shift, I don't have this corrected at all. And it goes crazy because I can't figure out the, the turn method. I'll, I'll get that figured out. These are just test test blocks, test bricks, I guess. Um, and I started playing this or I started building this a while ago. Uh oh, that's broken. I started building this a while ago and I stopped because I, I kind of got stuck on certain areas and I basically just, I thought I was doing no good, but there are a ton of you who want to see it. You want to see the, the building portions and the scripting portions. So uh, that's what we're going to do today. Give me just a second. I'm going to start up some music. I probably should have done this beforehand, but that's fine. Uh, free music lit, simple backgrounds. Here we go. That should, can you hear it? Can you hear it? We'll turn it up just a little bit more. We'll do 25%. It's not, it's not too terribly loud. Um, anyhow, this is Akash. Gan Gandhi Gadia and he plays piano music and there's there's a ton of um, YouTube copyright free stuff as long as you're a YouTube partner you can play in the background of your music and that's that so what am I doing here um, well I've been playing with the module scripts uh, and I actually today just got this kind of fixed so um, I was working on the placement system where you could actually take and create things like this. And it actually works with models now. Um, before I had been using just parts and it didn't work correctly. Now what I've got a problem with is the exact placements of things. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Here's a little bug that I found. If I just keep spamming E in the last spot that I wanted it placed, I can create amazing stuff. Or I just go straight up. <laughs> well, Code, what's wrong with that? Nothing's wrong with that. That's This is actually a really good idea for a system that I could place. Um, I don't, I, I don't like the way this works because it doesn't give too much room for um, placing things inside, um, filling in the blueprints, stuff like that. Go to floors, eight by eights. Um, if I'm over here. Okay, so see how the camera angle is this side of the point that my mouse is touching? I force it to go towards the camera or towards me. And that's by um, the entire size of the model, the bounding box, and half of its size. Same thing on this side. If I look this side, it comes this direction. Or, sorry, to your relevance, that direction. So, you can just press E. Same thing here. Press E. Oh, no! Anyhow, it would be really easy to, like, build and stack on top of each other and everything else. And I think the zoom level is way too far out. Like I, I want it to only to go to about, about there. So I'm gonna have to fix a, quite a few things. Anyhow, um, I've already built an admin script for this, and I, I will make this game. It's called My Lumber. I will put a link in the description down below, and I will, I will set it to public so you guys can come inside and play. Um, but 
yeah, I am going to start restricting things and just building on top of this and hopefully get back into the scripting and the programming of this stuff um, because I haven't touched it in a while. And uh, like rotate doesn't work, turn doesn't work, but. Why is that off by just slightly? I don't understand. What if I were to do this? What I need to do is I need to restrict it to only one axis. If I'm staring at it this way, I only want it to come this direction, not left or right. So I'm gonna have to decide how to fix that. Let's hit stop. Um, and let's get straight into the programming of what I was doing today. Um, we will go down to starter gear. No, that's the starter GUI, starter gear. Build hammer and tool server and tool script. So here's um, where we had the problem. Um, these were completely off. Uh, and I also had to have um, the bounding box and where was it? Action rotate, action turn. Hey, here we go. So phantom part dot C frame times move. So if the action equals rotate, um, how do you rotate a model? That I'm gonna have to look up because I don't know the answer to that. How to rotate a model on Roblox. Stu not Roblox Studio. Lua script. How do you rotate a model by script? From script helpers. Wonderful. Can I pull this over here? Can I actually show this? Uh, boom, 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 boom. Oh wait, that's on. That's still on Roblox. Let's go Roblox Studio. I don't know what that does. Um, hmm. Okay, we will add a window capture and current existing, which is CRM one, which is Chrome. And I'll place that in the background up here at the top. I've got um, two variables called rotate and turn. I think. Um, Type, blueprint. Here, let's go ahead and create two more. Local current rot equals C frame dot new. And I'm not actually going to give it any variables. Local current turn equals C frame dot new. And we'll just leave it like that. <laughs> okay. So move to. What does. <laughs> well, I'm going to have to cut that part out. Dang it. <laughs> oh, well. That's fine. Let's put that in there. Pull this over here. Uh, I gotta have a reminder to cut that part out. <laughs> okay. Go back over to Chrome. And fade. And what was I looking for again? Move to. Um, let's see. Roblox script move to. Model move to. Here we go. So if we go to the actual function of move to, it takes in a position, but it does not take in a frame. So I guess we would just set the C frame. C frame equals, okay. Oh my goodness, you have not been seeing this the entire time, have you? <laughs> See, and this is one of the reasons I kind of like stopped, it was because the little mistakes like this. Um, hopefully that wasn't too bad. Let's see. I've got phantom part move to. And we looked to see what move to did. 
set primary C frame. Now wait, could I, can I set the primary C frame? No, I can't do that because the um, bounding box. Make the model rotate around its primary part. Note that you will have to set that before using or you will see an error. Um, you can do that in the properties window. For example, this will rotate the model 90 degrees along the X axis. Okay. What about moving the part? Set primary C frame, C frame times. Okay. So wait, if this move to is just a C frame, then I could always do move to current pose, I guess. Hold on. I want to try something. Oh, oh uh, 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 uh. hold on. We always, always don't touch the original. So let's take this, take it out. And we're going to copy it. And it looks almost identical. Well, actually, this is before I changed some stuff today. So we want to do a move to. Uh, actually, set primary part C frame. Um, and then we're going to do C frame dot new. And set that as our vector times current rot. Ah, we don't need to add this. Uh, okay, so our current rotation, rotation includes turns. If you don't know what I'm talking about, I'm sorry. <laughs> so the rotation means three dimensional. It's on all three axes, axes. So create new C frame. B current rot equals current rot. I guess I could just How do I take the angle out? Oh, that's gonna that's gonna be le le completely weird. Okay, um, hopefully this works. Okay, mm -hmm. gonna break something. Yep, I broke it. Okay, context action surgeons unexpected error while invoking the callback. Uh, Build hammer, index to global C frame a nil value. Oh, that's because. C frame itself is an actual thing. Um, C frame dot new. There we go. Stop. Hopefully that doesn't change back. Tool scripts. Go back down. So current rot times C frame. I guess we want to put the rotation afterwards. So, blank times current right. And we don't need a turn. We can actually take this out. Just like that. All right. Hang on to your hats. Or hang on to your axes. Let's go to etc. Okay. That's working. That's weird. I don't know why it's working so well. Oh, it's like way off though. <laughs> oh, we're not passing in the rotation, are we? <laughs> oh gosh, okay. 
So why is the rotation getting reset? Local CFrame equals new CFrame dot rot. Uh, CFrame dot new. And we add it down here. Current rot equals current rot times a new number. Set primary current rot. Set primary times current rot. So this should be the same. I guess I should I, I would need a current pose, right? Current rot local current pose equals C frame dot new and we're going to take current pose current pose equals C frame dot new this right here. Set the that to current pose. So we're always taking into account the new rotation. And I guess I don't actually need this down here. We just need to add to our current rotation. We don't need this one either. Uh, sorry, we do need that one. No, we don't need that one because the current rotation shouldn't be reset. So every time we hit R, it just sets the variable, and then whenever we're moving stuff, it should set it for us. Did not like that. Uh, well, that's because that is already a cframe.new. I'll take that out. Thank you so much for the subscriber. Hello, Dylan Games. How are you? Thank you for uh, subscribing to my channel. I hope you enjoy. I hope this is what you're signed up for. <laughs> I know you guys were all here for lumber. Oh gosh, what happened? I broke something. Oh, I forgot to close something. What did I forget to close? Oh, blink. Cframe.new. Um. There we go. Does not like it. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, here. We'll take that out. I've got my parentheses in the wrong placement. Okay. Hopefully. Fingers crossed. Let's go down here and let's go print and what is this action rotate rotated we're gonna add one down here called turned current rotation times 90 What if we just do a plus? Can we add C frames together? I don't know that I can actually add a C frame. Oh, I did not like that. How to add two C frames together. So that's that's the next thing I'm going to be Googling. <clears throat> How to add two C frames. Hopefully they know that I'm talking about Roblox. And they do. Sweet. Okay, this article is all about C-frame operations. By the way, this right here is the biggest thing that I had trouble with inside writing my book uh, was the C-frame operations. 
In fact, I think I reference you guys to come out to this page whenever you have a problem with trying to get two C-frames to uh, match up. So there's right up back. Here's the actual 4x4 four four matrix of how this works, which is crazy. It's truly, truly, truly crazy. X, Y, Z. How do I add two C-frames? C-frame times vector 3. Since we now know that C-frames are actually 4x4 four four matrices, we can now get a look as to what they do to multiply the operation verify, blah, 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 the, what a matrix is. Okay. So this would be the the actual C-frame times a vector, which you could multiply out. This would uh, go into here, go into here, go in here. This one would go in here, go in here, go here. This one would go here, here, here. So, all divided by one. Do, 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 do. Mm -hmm. Once again, we can test. C frame dot new times. C frame dot angles, comma. Math radians. Wait, what? Oh, okay, okay. These are inside the C-frame angles. So, 1472, negative 32. I think you can go up to 100, right? Negative 100? Multiply CV3, CF2, or CF and V2. <laughs> Here we go. Position, right vector, up vector, look vector. Right, up, look. So X, Y, Z. Or, sorry. X, Y, Z. Yeah, that's correct. Um, Just so you know, I kind of grew up on Blender. So X, Y is not how how it works <laughs> it's like if you're looking top down it's x it's x y and then z is the up and down so i'm not used to this blue one being uh, y i'm used to the blue one being z c frame plus or c frame minus vector <laughs> adding or subtracting c frames is very straightforward. <laughs> it is not because I tried that a second ago and it, it was not as straightforward. Uh, of course, the test. Print CF plus V3. CF equals the C frame angles. V3 equals a vector. So wait. Can we, let's, let's go back to our code, what am I doing wrong in the actual code itself? Current rot is, okay, current position equals C frame times current rot, which is also a C frame. So could we just do this, not put that as a C frame and just add it? because current rot would give us our rotation, the vector three would be our position, and if we're putting that all into a C frame, I don't think that's gonna work. We're gonna try though. Knock on wood. <laughs> no pun intended. Ah, I didn't like it. Vector three expected, but got a C frame. Vector three was expected, but we got a C frame. Can we do times? Since we're just working with the vector now, instead of working with uh, a C frame on C frame. Oh, excuse me. <coughs> oh, bless me. <laughs> All right, I don't like that. I messed something up, but I don't know what it would messed up. Where did you go? Where do you go? My code. Control Z. Why can't I control Z that? <gasps> no. 
Okay, so this is also why we don't mess with stuff. C frame dot new. Oops, lowercase n for new. And give it the vector. Now, wait, can I just do a comma and give it another rotation? Nope, that breaks it as well. So we're going to put that there. Times current rot. Take that out. Fingers crossed. Hopefully I didn't mess it up too bad. Okay, kind of works. I don't like that it's it's off. Context action tool script. What happened here? Vector three was expected, but got a C frame. Vector three was expected, got C frame. Oh, oh, oh. That's because we did the add. We want to do times. Times. There we go. Current rot. Or should it be current position? <laughs> and it could be so simple. I mean, there there's probably something that I'm missing that you guys are probably seeing inside the script. If you have an idea of what I'm doing wrong, throw it in the comments down below. But for right now, I gotta get out of here. I gotta go. I hope that you've enjoyed this section, this uh, this episode. Um, this right here was kind of the reason of why I I had stopped because if I hold this down, it works. If I hold this down, it works. But it's not what I want. Like that is completely off. Hello, tree. And on the on a side note, we're going to have to uh, we're gonna have to fix those as well. <laughs> Thank you, everyone, for watching this episode of Let's Make a Game with me, Heath Haskins, Code Primate, as I rant on stolen games <laughs> and I um, start to indulge you with a new um, uh, coming back series of Let's Make a Game where I'm going to sit here and listen to peaceful music in the background and script and program away at the games that I should have created, should have finished probably years ago. But uh, yeah, I hope you enjoy. It's fun. It's, it's fun for me. This right here is what I love doing. I love looking at the code, getting into the scripts and programming and researching and looking up stuff and learning new techniques and tools. Um, if you like the same thing, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe down below. Do all those cool things I'm supposed to call out at the end of the videos. Love you guys very much. Have a great night, and we'll talk to you very soon. <sighs> Outro!